Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a review of the WISE 100 watt monocrystalline solar panel. This one is the SP100W model. It's about 40 inches long and 20 inches wide. They also make a more squat one. I haven't seen it for sale for a while, but I own one of those and this is going to be put in parallel with that. We're going to take a look at that uh, in a minute. But right now I just want to go over the construction. It's very well constructed, uh, very well made. It's putting out um, the nominal voltage and current, and we're going to take a look at the meter readings in a moment on that as well. Uh, let's, let's take a look at the back. We'll show you what the back looks like, um, and let's do that now. Okay, here we have the back of the unit. The interface bo box has very good weather uh, proofing with silicone all around to seal it, making it waterproof. We have the, the normal waterproof uh, connectors that come on the solar panels. And right now we, we have uh, Y connectors that I purchased. That's what you're seeing on the end of the connectors here. And that's going to be um, in parallel with my other WISE 100 watt panel. Um, let's zoom in. We'll take a look at those. Uh... So here's how you hook them up with those Y connectors. look like they look like that and here's where the other solar panel goes and these go to the cable that's um that goes inside the house all right let's zoom in on the spec sheet okay here we have the technical uh data um the important specs on here are the uh the six amps on the short circuit current we have 22 volts on the short current uh the short circuit voltage and the nominal is 5.56 amps. That means the average amps you're gonna, that's going to come in to charge your battery through the charge controller. And around 18 volts or so is going to be normal coming in. And we're going to be looking at the meter of those readings next. But you, you can take a look at the specs on here. OK, now I'd like to bring attention to the mounting holes or lack thereof. Uh, this is probably the only con of these wise panels. This long one, including to, uh, my uh, other panel, is a little bit different size. They only have four mounting holes in the positions that you see here, two on the top and two on the bottom, and that's it. And I can't really use those because the, the ground-mounted brackets that I'm using, the adjustable brackets I use on all my solar panels, are really meant to be um, along the edges because you have knobs you got to access and stuff like that. So these might be for roof mounting, standard holes or something, but the Renogy ones is nothing like that. There are, there's like 30 or 40 holes on it, all across the top and bottom, multiple mounting options. So the lack of mounting options on here is probably one of the only downsides. If you can handle that, then this is a great panel. What I do is I just take a drill and I drill the four holes I need in aluminum, very easy to drill. If you're going to do that, just be sure to put a piece of wood uh, underneath where the hole's going to be so you don't accidentally poke the um, the back of the solar panel with the drill bit. Uh, that just takes a few minutes. So it, for me it doesn't bother, but for you uh, it might be an issue. So that's the only downside. Other than that, big thumbs up on these solar panels. All right, let's, uh, let's go up on the deck and let's take a look at the readings and we'll take a look at that other solar panel where I'm going to connect it to in parallel. Okay, so we're testing the 100 watt wise solar panel. And this is for the short circuit voltage. And this way I'm testing the full voltage coming out. The sun is almost overhead and um, we're getting 20 over 20 volts, 20.09 volts. All right, let's check the current now. Okay, so here is the short circuit current. It's an amazing six amps. Um, that's what the specs say, 6.05 amps. Look at this climbing to 6.05 amps. That's amazing. So it's putting out the full amperage. Full voltage, full amperage. Really happy with the solar panel so far. The testing is really good. All right, so now we're going to disconnect the 100 watt panel that I already have connected to the system, which is also a WISE. We'll take a look at that in a second. Um, and then we're going to go inside with this one connected and we're going to see how it does under load. And we'll see what kind of amps um, we could pull in. The specs are 5.5. 5.6 amps nominal, or maximum, maximum coming in under load, actually, to a, to a charge controller. So this is pretty good, over 6 amps. I'm really happy with that. All right, let's, uh, let's go inside after we take a look at these two panels. Okay, so here's the two solar panels next to each other. The one I just got is the one laying on the deck. 100 watt solar panel, and it's longer and thinner. 
uh, apparently very efficient. They're both by Wise, both 100 watt solar panels. And eventually before winter, I'm gonna be connecting them together. And so I'll have more power in the winter. I'm sucking wind here in Maine and I'm only getting like half the power that I do in the summer because of you know, low position in the side, less hours in the, in the day. Okay, so here is the Expert Power Solar Charge Controller, the 20 amp one that I have connected to an AGM uh, battery bank. And I've been running four radios in the past half hour to drain the battery bank a bit so we can see the maximum power coming in, which shows it going to the battery. So let's take a look at that now. We have 5.7 amps, which is right around what the maximum nominal uh, current is uh, coming that comes in from the panel, which is 5.56. So it's it's doing really well. All right, here we're taking a look at the Neptune 35 amp hour AGM batteries that those Y solar panels are going to be charging. They're in parallel for a total of 70 amp hours, and now with that second panel, they're going to charge up. A lot quicker so I got the wise panels on Amazon all my solar panels come from there normally these days 100 watt panel are about 100 bucks but when this one came on sale for 80 for 80 bucks I jumped on it even with the whole situation that it was where I got to drill my own holes I didn't care I'm saving 20 bucks as you know on my channel I try to do solar as cheap as possible but with quality components and to the right here, I have lithium batteries and my 1200 watt inverter. And this system here is a whole separate system with 200 watts as well with Renogy panels. And that I use for emergency power to run my TV, Blu-ray player, uh, to make breakfast with my coffee maker and toaster in the morning. And that one works really well. If you want to take a look at more details on all these items, check out my channel for individual reviews of all the components and also of the emergency power system I have set up. Alright, so that wraps up my review of the WISE SP100W 100 watt solar panel. Thanks so much for watching Ham Radio Comms. We'll catch you next time. Take care.